Hi, this is Mike, Family DIY TV, and today I'm putting an outlet in my fireplace. I know what you're thinking, outlet inside your fireplace. Well, we're getting a uh, Osborne uh, Matrix 2700, which is a fireplace insert, okay? And it has actually a blower system inside of it. Um, it's wood burning and super efficient. Uh, they, they're actually really, really nice. I'll splash a picture of, picture of it up on the screen. Um, but for that blower to work, it obviously needs 120. It needs a, it needs a plug. Okay, um, so what I'm going to be doing is installing one of these types of plugs inside the fireplace. I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is we got to decide where will this plug most likely work. Okay, so we can probably most of the time they install them back here in the back right. Okay, um, so we'll get into that. But uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to determine where are we going to drill a hole through this fireplace to get a wire to an outlet so that we have power. Okay, so you could go a couple different ways and I'm gonna show you my way of doing it, the way that I did it for mine. Now this isn't the right way, best way, it's every way, every fireplace is gonna be different. You know, my fireplace is on an outside wall. So um, I could have went through this wall here, right, and ran some conduit on the outside, which I'll show you a little later. And that's how I could have got my power into here. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm actually gonna drill down because I have the luxury of having a actually um, a basement below here okay so and I wasn't 100% sure until I did some figuring out which I'll show you how to do is if the actual if this was actually in the basement because it kind of is a little weird that this is actually the basement uh, is under this but it is so if I drill directly down through here I'll be in my basement okay now how do I know that so the first thing you do is, if you want to kind of get some kind of reference when you're moving between floors or something like that, you need some kind of reference. So first thing I did was I actually took a small, 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 small drill bit, moved some of the fibers out on the rug, and I drilled through the floor into the basement with a very small, small drill. Okay, that gave me a reference point into the basement. So if I look up at the ceiling, I can see the drill bit sticking out. Okay, then what that gives me the ability to do is measure from this point to the drill bit, do the same measurement down the basement, and now I know if I look up, if I was to drill directly down, obviously that I would know where the drill bit's gonna come out. I already did no, that. If I was even to drill a, a hole in this back right corner, I would still be in my basement, so I'm kinda lucky there. All right, so that's where we are. Now we're gonna get to the point where we actually start drilling a hole. All right, so to drill the hole, you're gonna need these SDS bits. These are made from Bosch. I got them on Amazon, actually. I found the best price to be on Amazon. I'll put a link to these. I chose half inch, and I bought two sizes because, you know, you could say, well, why don't you just buy this one? Well, yeah, it'd be great, but look how long it is. You know, I gotta get a drill. So what I'm gonna do is drill a little bit through with this, and then drill with this. You know, so I'll drill this all the way down, and then I'll be able to stick this in the hole, hopefully, and, uh, and drill. Okay, you're also gonna need, so I'll put a link to these drill bits down below in the description. You're also gonna need um, one of these big hammer drills. Um, these are awesome, you can rent these from Home Depot, but I just bought one from Amazon again. I'll put a link to these down below as well. When I put my uh, pool fence in, I actually purchased one of these um, and it worked great. So uh, this is nice to have as well. So I'll put a link to that down below. All right, so now let's get into drilling in here what I was going to do was I was going to drill a hole in the back right corner here probably just go through the mortar and drill it with this one and then follow up with this one because I can shove this up here and then continue and you know continue into the basement but it got me thinking I have my ash clean out here and I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to install this outlet box inside here and then what I can do is when they go to plug it in, they'll just plug it in down there. All right, and I think that'll be pretty nice. It won't be inside here impeding anything uh, for the install. And then they can just plug it in. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna get on to drilling. And it looks like we gotta use this guy. Start drilling, just so I have a gauge of where I'm at. I'm just gonna use a little nail polish here. And I'm gonna put it in on there. Don't tell my daughter I stole her nail polish. Uh, all right. So that'll let me know how far I went down. I could also do something like this. I need to get this down to like here. All 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you down to the basement. I wanna see if this videotape is popping out. All right, so as you can see now, we got through it. Um, these Bosch blades are amazing. I just went through 10, what was that, 10 inches of concrete um, in probably, I don't know, two minutes, not even maybe. And I was barely holding on to it. I mean, it was still letting the drill do everything. All right, so there you go. That's how you put an outlet in a fireplace for an insert. Oh, wait, and now there's an insert here. Okay, so what that outlet gets, enables you to do is actually put a blower in. All right, so you can see that I have the blower on now. All right, now I did say before, um, I was gonna give you some other options. So let's go over the other options. Okay, so what you could have done, okay, instead of going straight down like I did through the ash dump, you can actually drill a hole straight through the back of the masonry fireplace or straight through the side of the masonry fireplace, okay? So that's your one hole straight through. Then what you do is you find an outlet. So I have a few outlets that are right here. I have an outlet that's down here. I also have an outlet that is over here, okay? So what you could do is you could then drill a hole through that outlet to the outside. Okay, so then what this gives you is two holes to the outside. And now I'm gonna take you outside and show you what you need to do. All right, now we're on the other side of the wall. So as you can imagine, you can see that's the ash dump there. You would have a hole here or a hole here on the side. Then what you would do is, this is the other side, uh, the outside wall. You would put something like this. So you drill, the hole would come through here, you'd run your wire, you would attach something like this. And then what you do is just run conduit down and I would probably bury it along the foundation and then pop up and then run it inside. So run it inside the house there. Okay, so that's your option two. 